Hi, hi, my this is Henry Fleischer here um, to respond to your request for a video on some tips you can use to grow your business online. So first things first, I'm on hardshipio.com to see your info. So right now it says here you got your so you got your company name, your address, phone number, which is good. But I don't I was when I looked up your company, I didn't see a website. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about how a website can help you grow your business. So first things first, when we search for towing in Austin, New York, because that's where you are, first things that pop up, this is actually an advertisement from Merit Auto Body. So what this is, is people who are actually paying to be on this st spot are actually renting that space on page one, and you want to ultimately be owning it. And I'm going to show you how to do that too. So this portion right here is the map pack. So the top three spots get the most traffic. And as you can see here, this is actually... There's a this is a ripe opportunity because out of the top three, two of them have websites. Loyalstowing.com doesn't have a website listed in its map pack and its map listing. So just something to throw out there. See here, AMP Collision is number two in the map pack. And then now we get back to the organic section. And people who have the spot on page one actually own this space, and that's where you ultimately want to be. And if you own a space on the organic section as well as a top three map pack. You're going to get the most possible traffic. So as you go down, Yelp has the top two spots, all the yellow pages. And TrueTowing.com has it. It looks like the first one. But AP Collision and Towing also has a spot in the map pack. They're at the bottom of page one. It, but they have, they have both spots. So we're going to take a look at their website and see what they do and what you can implement. Okay, so first things first, we're on their website. It's like a very basic website. They have a phone number to call, but it's not clickable. And they don't have, there's really not much text here at all. So, and you can really outdo them in a lot of areas. So some things Google looks for to rank a website is to make sure you have authoritative content on your homepage. So you want to have between 1,000 to 1,500 words all about towing and all the services that you do. And then you want to, for each service page, like you can make one for like heavy duty, duty towing, um, like light towing, even like emergency towing. That should have between 500 and 750 words of authoritative content. And when you have a website, you got to think to yourself, what's the first thing you want the user to do when they land there? So for you, you want to make sure they can get hold of you right away. So they call you or contact you for e from email. Right now, like their phone numbers on the top right, you should have yours in the top left and make it clickable. So that way, when somebody's on their mobile phone, they can get hold of you right away. And then to have a contact form so people can get hold of you via email. And some of their, I mean, they have some okay pictures, but it looks like they don't have a keyword rich term in there. When you have a keyword rich term in any image you post on a website, Google's actually going to read that and you're, and you could possibly pop up in the top uh, in the top for a Google image search. And yeah, I mean they have some other pages. Oh, they have service pages too, so we're gonna check that out too. See here that it's not that it's nowhere near the 500 to 750 uh, words. And then they have a location too. I mean that they just have it like this. We're located here, but if you have a website too. You can make a page for each location that you want to you want people to search for for you like i'm sure you don't just do austin but you probably go down to the other river towns like let's see going down uh maybe go want to go to briarcliff you depends on how far in westchester maybe go all the way down to like yonkers and mount vernon even white plains new rochelle the terry towns another one even irvington too and i'm going to show you a stat too with um, what happens when you're on page one? So 91.5% of the traffic actually goes to page one, followed by 4.8% to page two. Page three gets 1.1%, and page four is almost nothing. Page four and up. So if you're not if you're not on page one, it's going to be very hard for people to find you. In addition, 47% of the time people use a Google search, they look for a local business. And while the content piece is important. Google's not going to just rank you right out the gate just because you have a nice looking site. 
Google's the judge of who the popular kids at school are. If you're the new kid and you have all this nice stuff, you got to get votes from your peers. And that's what backlinks are. What backlinks actually are is putting your website link on another website, but not all of them are created equal. So some are more powerful than others. And let's say the towing resources is the highest, is the most authoritative website all, on all things towing. And you put your link on them and they give you that vote. You're going to get moved. Google's going to move you up the rankings because it's like you got to vote from one of the popular kids. And then you want to keep finding all those popular kids as well. And if Joe Schmo's towing came out yesterday, and you put your link on their website, and you they gave them they, and they gave you a follow. They're gonna be like, oh, this new guy's giving another new guy like a vote of confidence. We're not gonna move. We're not gonna change the rankings. And they only have three backlinks right now. We can take a look at this tool I like to use called Ahrefs and see what keywords they're ranking for too. You can do that and see where they're backlinking to. You can actually see who your competitors are linking to and link to those same sites. So here, so A and P towing, that serves 20 times a month. So they just appear, the only keywords they appear for are really the, are just like their brand name keywords. I know collision towing is definitely a keyword you want to appear on search 90 times a month or anything around Austin or Westchester. So that's something to keep in mind. And another important piece too, is to have citations. So what citations are is actually the number of times that your business name, phone number, and address are listed across the web. So this right here is a citation actually. So and you want to have way more than your competition. So if you get like 50 to 100 plus, and then you have your well optimized site with all of like the nice content and the backlinks, you're going to be way ahead of your competition. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.